Have you met this friend of Varric's, Inquisitor? Not yet, no. It had better not be who I think it is. I will wring that little bastard's neck. <laughs> Why? Who do you think it is? Someone Varric claimed he could not contact. Someone the Inquisition, indeed all of Thedas, desperately needed. I'll reserve judgment until I know for certain. No need to have that rogue screaming persecution yet again. Oh. Wait. Why did I not get that option last time? Ah, I don't I don't want it to be a dude. God. Ah, oh, come here, boy. Guess I'll just use the stupid one. Inquisitor, meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though Not you I again. don't use that title much anymore. I don't care Hawk, about you. The Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him after all. This view reminds me of my home in Kirkwall. I had a balcony that overlooked the whole city. Nobody cares. I loved it at first. But after a while, all I could Give see was people out there depending on me. You heard about Haven. I have. That's why we're here now. And why I have battlements instead of balconies. May they serve you well. Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence Why is this hair so shiny Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. You're giving me maybes. I need proof. Then let's get you some. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. The last time we I spoke, guess he's gonna he die in the fade this playthrough. Ranks. Since then, you douchebag. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. I'll take any lead I can get at the moment. Good. I'll do whatever I can to help. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time, I'll make sure of it. Ah, <sighs> so annoying. You knew where Hawk was all along! You're damned right I did. You conniving little shit! You kidnapped me! You interrogated me! What did you expect? Hey, enough! You're taking his side? I said enough! 
We needed someone to lead this Inquisition. Hawk was our only hope. He was the champion of Kirkwall. The Majors respected him. And you kept him from us. The Inquisition has a leader. Hawk would have been at the Conclave if anyone could have saved Most Holy. You can't change the past, Cassandra. So I must accept... What? That the Maker wanted all this to happen? That he... That he... Varric is a liar, Inquisitor. A snake. Even after the Conclave, when we needed Hawk most, Varric kept him secret. He's with us now. We're on the same side. We all know whose side you're on, Varric. It will never be the Inquisition's. Attacking him now won't help us, Cassandra. Ha! Ah, exactly! And you better not be keeping anything else from us. Ah, I understand. <laughs> I must not think of what could have been. We have so much at stake. Go, Varric. Just go. All right, is there anything else you've been hiding that I should know? You want to hear about my childhood? Maybe what I had for breakfast? I told you what I knew when it Don't became... Don't sass me, Varric. You could have told us about Corypheus sooner. I found out he was involved at exactly the same time you did. Until he showed up at Haven, I thought he was dead. Nothing we saw at the summit made me think he'd been there. I know I need to do better. I'm sorry. Anything interesting? A letter regarding Felix, Alexius' son. He went to the Magisterium, stood on the Senate floor and told them of you. A glowing testimonial, I'm informed. No news on the reaction, but everyone back home is talking. Felix always was as good as his word. Was? He's dead. The Blight caught up with him. Are you all right? He was ill, and thus on borrowed time anyhow. That doesn't mean you can't regret his death. I know. Felix used to sneak me treats from the kitchens when I was working late in his father's study. Don't get into trouble on my behalf, I tell him. I like trouble, he'd say. Tevinter could use more mages like him. Those who put the good of others above themselves. He should be an example for others to follow, or his death is wasted. Should I spread the word? We could spawn the cult of Felix in a matter of days. <laughs> there are worse things. Probably true. Cult of Vivian. Right. His actions should not be forgotten. Thankfully, Felix wasn't the only decent sort kicking around Thedas. Oh. I didn't think I'd level and skyhold. <laughs> I don't need you, sister. You're carrying a heavy burden. The hell's this? Inquisitor, you have done much, but have you the stomach for? The Quizquisition. The what? The what? It begins now, and there is a timer. The Kunari are a ferociously pedantic people guided by a very particular philosophy. 
Name its author. Uh, oh yeah, let's try Tomb of Kuslan. That would be embarrassing if I didn't know that as a Kunari. I believe the answer is Kuslan. Correct. Ooh. Well played. What do I get? We will continue when I have time, and the wind calls. <laughs> what is this? What kind of quiz is this? Just one question. Ah, random. Why do you drink it if you don't like it? How can you dislike tea? Something wrong with your tea? It is tea. I detest the stuff. But this morning, I need to shake the dreams from my mind. I may also need a favor. But you don't need anything from anyone. You're known for that. One of my oldest friends has been captured by mages. Forced into slavery. I heard the cry for help as I slept. <laughs> you have friends. Okay. I thought you didn't have any friends besides spirits. I don't. So who is this? My friend is a spirit of wisdom. Unlike the spirits clamoring to enter our world through the rifts, it was dwelling quite happily in the Fade. It was summoned against its will, and wants my help to gain its freedom and return to the Fade. All right, Solus. Any friend of yours, apparently. Thank you. I got a sense of my friend's location before I awoke. I'll mark it on our map. As leader of the Inquisition, you... There's something I must tell you. You're being especially serious today. I know. Lyrium grants Templars our abilities, but it controls us as well. Those cut off suffer. Some go mad, others die. We have secured a reliable source of lyrium for the Templars here. But I no longer take it. You stopped? When I joined the Inquisition. It's been months now. You've never complained. Why would I? I chose this. After what happened in Kirkwall, I couldn't. I will not be bound to the Order. Or that life any longer. Whatever the suffering, I accept it. But I would not put the Inquisition at risk. I've asked Cassandra to watch me. If my ability to lead is compromised, I will be relieved from duty. Are you in pain? I can endure it. Thank you for telling me. I respect what you're doing. Thank you, Inquisitor. The Inquisition's army must always take priority. Should anything happen, I will defer to Cassandra's judgment. So I'm feeling seasick already. Oh, poor Dorian. <laughs> we'll come closer to the water then.
did I just knock that ram over? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> that never happened to me before. Are you saying you wouldn't rather live in a land where mages aren't herded into cages like dogs? Which land is that? The one where mages are feared and despised as tyrants? I'm the first to admit magisters aren't perfect, but they've also done great things. They're allowed to. Monstrous things as well. Or you wouldn't be here, would you? Locking people into cages isn't the answer. Naturally. First we execute those who will not submit, then we deal with the rest.
Sylvia, perhaps you can answer this. Why the bizarre Orlesian fixation with masks? It's part of the game, my dear. You never see your opponent's true visage. A strange custom in a culture where people assassinate each other for putting too much salt in the soil. An additional challenge to be navigated. Fail at the game and you die. And you people called to winter barbaric. You are barbarians, darling. But that's part of your charm. I seem to be very unlucky with mage loot this playthrough because I'm level 11 and not one of my mages has a blue ring. Like I haven't found a single blue mage ring. Like the ones that increase a spell's damage or duration. And yet I found like 20 rogue rings and 20 warrior rings, like all these, and like most of the ones are already vendored. Ah, <sighs> how annoying. I presume you know what they will say of Corypheus, Dorian. Darkspawn, madman, relic of an unwanted past. Don't keep me in suspense. They will say he is Tavinta. No. I'm aware you claim to be here to counter that, but the damage is done. Uh, I'm not here on behalf of my nation's reputation, Vivian. I'm here to do what is right. If only more of your countrymen felt as you do. Oh, you two actually getting along now? Another of the Elven artifacts. The wards are working. 
It should be harder for tears to form here. Oh, why can't I move? You seriously, Solos? Oh, it's Vivian. Barrier. Is that a beacon of some sort? Sure is. Watch out! Beacons. We can use them to fight the undead on land. 